Now we're going to flip to the NBA a little bit. And uh, we got some drama, no baby mama drama, but some drama here for sure up in Philadelphia <laughs> with with Mr. Last Name Simmons, first name Ben. So he was kicked out of practice fees, absolutely disengaged. Um, I think him and Aaron Rodgers have probably made the most noise in sports recently, um, especially in their offseason. But, you know, give me your thoughts on his shenanigans and will Philly even be a contender this year with all this noise in the franchise? I mean, Philly will absolutely not be a contender with or without Ben Simmons. It really didn't matter if he was going to play or not. They're not a contender. That team was good enough for the Eastern semis with him. Without him, they might lose in the first round. But that, that team just wasn't that good. And, I mean, just to bring it full circle, Ben Simmons is ridiculous. I mean, he is a really, really good player. We, we won't slight how good he is. I mean, he's made first team all defense two times, three-time all-star. I mean, averaging 16, 8, and 8, basically. He signed a five-year, $170 million extension just in 2019. So he's on contract with the team through 2024, 2025. And he's sitting out there going to practice, declining to do drills and acting as if I don't like it here. I don't want to play here because you guys don't like me. And you're talking about me. <laughs> like he, he's extremely coddled. He's a sensitive little boy. He was like that at LSU. Nobody yeah. could say anything to him. And I mean, the whole thing is his fault. It's like, yeah, bro, we all understand you're a good player, but you can't shoot. And you won't shoot. And like, and your shooting is disgusting at a historic clip for a point guard. Yeah. You're, he's 5 for 34 <laughs> from 3 for his career. Uh, worst free throw percentage in any postseason run. And he's in elite class with Will Chamberlain and Shaquille O'Neal. And he has the worst out of the both of them. Even DeAndre Jordan, who, who was like the worst free throw shooter ever. I uh, barely snipped the playoffs with the Clippers, but still, he's historically bad. He's a 59.7% free, free throw shooter, 56% <laughs> from the field. Yeah. He can't shoot. No, not it at is, all. It's, it's disgusting. He's a bigger, more athletic Westbrook, basically. But with him being so big, you know, you, you got to take into account, should he even be a guard? I mean, really, he's 6'10", super long arms, lightning quick speed, can run the floor, dunk the ball, get your rebound, block your shot. Should he be a guard? I don't think he should be a guard. I think he should be a forward. At 6'10", he could play power forward. Exa he could be a swing forward. Exactly. Let, let him develop. Okay, he's not going to develop a little bit of a shot, but if you can get him just getting out of that, you know, self-conscious bubble that he's in, because you look at trade talks to miss free throws to basically burning alive in the postseason, and, and I got to say, the Hawks series did it in for him. Once Joel Embiid threw his arms up at the top of the arc because Ben Simmons was literally looking through the top of the basket, and he passed the ball, you immediately knew he was scared. He was totally psyching himself out in that series. But Ben Simmons needs to be grateful. He should feel lucky because let's think about the state of Philadelphia and how harsh they really are on their athletes, okay? They give people hell. And they've basically coddled him at this point. You're pitching a fit. Oh, I can't get traded. So I'm not going to come back. I'm not coming to training camp. But then you lose $10 million and then you're back at practice, but you're still disengaged. And now you're kicked out. And now your team doesn't have you on opening night. You know, it's just a constant trickle effect here with Ben Simmons and you know if anything Doc Rivers is already really scrutinized as a head coach I, I know he might not be you know in on the gig and it might be I guess outside of his power to, to do whatever with a player but you know he's calling some sort of some sort of shots in Philadelphia and keeping Ben Simmons around you're stripping your team of title contention but you're also staining your legacy as a head coach in my opinion dealing with that uh with that toxicity in Ben Simmons um, but Andre yeah, says I, he'll beat Ben Simmons on horse. <laughs> <laughs> beat him in horse. Jeez. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take that bet. I can right. beat him on horse too. I'll take it too. Thank you. So I can use some, let's, let's just shoot free throws. Right. I promise you. I'll beat you from the strike. <laughs> Unless Ben Simmons just comes out like he is on social media and decides to shoot threes and piss off the fan base. And then he just like, he's, he is literally like two different, like he's trying to read two different books at the same time. And it's literally impossible. You cannot figure out Ben Simmons. 